Hello, welcome to week three. Today we'll be covering the rest of the standing sequence. So we're going to be working with Utkatasana and Virabhadrasana. So those are the last poses of the standing sequence. So that means that we've covered the standing sequence and we're going to be entering into the primary series for the next class. So at, at those last postures or in those last postures, you're really going to feel the heat increase and a lot of energy start to rise in the body. So from that point, when we make it to the floor, entering into the primary series postures, it's going to feel a little bit like a relief before we start building up the energy again. Remember to just stay focused on the breath, do your best to match the breath with the movement and to also be focused on the breath when we're in the postures in itself. I always remind practitioners that when we're breathing properly, you continue to stay focused, but the, the body mind also stays relaxed. You never want to push yourself in the practice through tension. Um, and also when we depart from the breath, the body actually becomes less coordinated, not more coordinated. So the more you start to rely on the breathing, you'll start to notice that the, you know, the alignment and the coordination of the body will start to improve. So we will begin with a warm up, and then we will come up to Samasitihi and begin our sun salutations. We'll begin with our warm up. So, starting in a comfortable seated position, and we'll just begin with some simple breathing. So, breathing in and out through the nose, so just coming into a nice extended position through your torso, the sides of the waist, nice and long. And we'll start with a five breath count, breathing consciously. So, go ahead and inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Naturally elongating the breath. Inhale. Exhale. That's three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go ahead and just roll the shoulders, continuing with conscious breathing. Just waking up the body, slowly and gently. a few more rotations. Good. Let's go ahead and bring the shoulders forward. Just loosening up the shoulder area. Continue to stay connected to the breath. And one more. Good. Take a deep inhale, extending a lot of energy up through the top of the head. Exhale. Let's go ahead and just loosen up the wrist. We're going to interlace the fingers and just rotate the hands. And then going in the other direction. Good. From here, we're just going to continue to do some opening up through the shoulder area because in the practice, we're working the shoulders quite a bit. So we're going to take the right arm over the left and just do the best you can. See if you can bring the palms together. I mean, they don't fully come together, but just having this connection through the palms, the hands. If you're unable to make that full twisting rotation through the arms, you can always just bring the backs of the hands together. 
So wherever you can place the hands comfortably. And then from here, we're going to just lift those elbows upward, the hands going upward, and you'll feel a nice stretch through the backs of the shoulders. And we'll breathe here. One more breath. Lower the elbows, release the hands. Let's switch sides. So left over right, bringing the palms together or the backs of the hands together. And from here, inhale, go ahead and lift the elbows upward, breathing. One more breath. And gently lower down. I'm just gonna get a little stretch through the neck area. So this time I'm just gonna bring my right arm to the side of my head and just kind of like gentle, gentle stretch here. Just bring a little weight to the head so I can get a nice opening elongation through the neck area, through the left side. I'm not putting too much pressure here, but just a light weight of the arm of the palm of the hand. Continue to breathe. Good, and just go ahead and release. We'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm just placing the hand at the side of my head, just relaxing the arm downward. So just acting like a gentle weight. Continue to breathe. Good. Coming upright, we're going to come up to all fours. We're going to go through a few cat cow positions. So, hands shoulder width apart, fingers spread wide. Bring your shoulders over the hands, the hips over the knees. Inhale, go ahead and lift the hips, arch the back, lift the head. Exhale, round, tucking the chin. This is really good for the spine. Inhale. And exhale, draw the navel upward. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. One more set. Inhale. Exhale. We'll sit back on the heels, come into an extended child's pose position. Fingers spread wide. Really reaching the hands out as far as you can go. And then drop the head to get a slight front shoulder stretch. Forehead resting on the floor and breathing. One more breath. Good, lift the head and slowly coming upright. Let's go ahead and meet up into Samasitihi. Today we'll be reviewing up to Ardha Bada Padma, Padmo Tanasana. Let's go ahead and begin. Samastitihi. Yekam inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Dwe, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, hara. Chitwari, step back or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. 
Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shot, exhale, downward facing. One breath. Two. Three. Four. Five. Safta, step, jump, or walk forward. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Samastitihi. Ekam, inhale. Stretch the arms, palms together. Dwe, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, hara. Chatwari, step back or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shat, exhale, downward facing. Breathing one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Sapta. Step or jump forward. Inhale. Ashtau, exhale, fold. Nawa, inhale, arms up. Samasitihi. Yekam, inhale, stretch the arms, look toward thumbs. Dwe, exhale, fold. Look toward the nose. Trini, inhale, heart forward, head up, look toward nose. Chitwari, jump back or step back. Chaturanga Dandasana, gaze at the nose. Pancha, inhale, upward facing, look toward the nose. Shat, exhale, downward facing. Breathing one, gaze toward the navel. Two, three, if it's look too much to look toward the navel, look between the feet. Four. And five. Sapta, jump. Inhale. Ashta, exhale, fold. Nawa, inhale, stand, arms up, look toward thumbs. Samasitihi. Yekam, inhale, arms up. Dwe, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, hara. Chatwari, jump back. Pancha, inhale. Shat, exhale. Spreading the fingers wide, grounding through the hands and feet. One breath. Two. Three. 
three, four, five. Sapta jump. Inhale. Ashtao, exhale, fold. Nawa, inhale, stand, arms up. Samastitihi. Last one, Yekam, inhale. Dwe, exhale. Trini, inhale, head up. Chitwari, jump back. Pancha, inhale. Shut, exhale. One, breathing with sound. Two, Three, drawing the lower belly in. Four. Five. Sapta, jump. Inhale. Astao, exhale, fold. Nawa, inhale, arms up. Samastitihi. Surya Namaskar B. Yekam, inhale, bend the knees. Lift the arms. Dwe, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, hara. Chitwari. Jump back. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shat, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, right foot forward, arms up. Ashtao, exhale, Chaturanga. Nawa, inhale. Dasha, exhale. Yekadasha, inhale, left foot forward, arms up, palms together. Duadasha, exhale. Trayodasha, inhale, upward facing. Chaturasha, exhale, downward facing. One. Two, three, four. Five. Panchadasha jump. Inhale. Sodasha exhale, fold. Saptadasha bend the knees, arms up. Samastitihi. Yekam inhale, knees bend, arms lift. Dwe, exhale, fold. Trainee, inhale, head up. Chitwani, jump back. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. 
shot, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, right foot forward, arms up. Ashtal, exhale, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Nawa, inhale. Desha, exhale. Ekadasha, inhale. Left foot forward, arms up. Dwadasha, exhale. Triodasha, inhale. Chaturasha, exhale. Breathing one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Panchadasha jump. Inhale. Sodasha exhale, fold. Saptadasha knees bend, arms up. Samasitihi. Last one. Yekam inhale. Dwe exhale. Trainee, inhale, heart forward, head up. Chatwari, jump back. Pancha, inhale. Shat, exhale. Sapta, inhale, right foot forward, arms up. Ashtal, exhale. Nawa, inhale. Dasha, exhale. Ekadasha, inhale, left foot forward, arms up. Dwadasha, exhale. Triodasha, inhale. Chaturasha, exhale. Breathing one, two, three. Four, five. Panchadasha jump. Inhale. Sodasha exhale, fold. Saptadasha bend the knees, arms up. Look toward thumbs. Samasitihi. Parangustasana, jump the feet hip width. Yekam, inhale, drop forward, catch the big toes, head up. Dwe, exhale, fold. One breath. Two, gaze toward nose. Three, four, and five.
trainee inhale heart forward head up exhale hold Pada Hastasana, Yekam, inhale, hands under feet, head up, Dwe, exhale, fold in. Breathing one, two, Three, four, five. Trainee inhale, chest forward, head up. Exhale. Stand up. Samastitihi. Utita Trikonasana, Yekam, inhale, step back, feet parallel, arms out, shoulder height. Dwe, exhale, turn the right foot, catch the big toe. One breath, looking up toward the fingertips. Two. Three. Four, five. Trainee inhale, use the breath to stand. Chatwari exhale, left side. One, two, Three, four, five. Trainee inhale, stand, feet parallel. Chatwari exhale, reverse the feet, square the hips, twisting to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Trini, inhale, stand. Chitwari, exhale, left side. One breath. Two. Three, gazing toward fingertips. Four, five. Pancha, inhale, stand. Samastitihi. Utita Parjva Konasana. Yekam, inhale, step back wide, feet parallel. Dwe, exhale, turn the right foot. Track the knee in the direction of the toes, palm to the floor. Breathing one. Two, gazing toward the fingertips. Three. Four. Five. Trainee, inhale, stand. Chatwari, exhale. Left side. 
one, two, three, four, five. Pancha inhale, stand. B, the way exhale, hook the arm above the knee. Back, foot flat to the floor, back leg nice and strong. One breath. Two, gazing toward fingertips. Three. Four, five. Trini, inhale, stand, feet parallel. Chitwari, exhale. Left side. One, breathing with sound. Two, three, four, five. Pancha, inhale, stand, feet parallel. Samastitihi. Prasarita Paratonasana. Yekam inhale, step back, feet parallel, catch the waist. Dwe exhale, full. Trini inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold in. Breathing one, top of the head descending toward the floor. Two. Three. Four. Five. Chitwari, inhale. Straighten the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, hold. Pancha, inhale. Catch the waist and stand. Exhale. B. Yekam, inhale, arms out. Dwe, exhale, catch the waist. Inhale, take a breath. Trini, exhale, fold. One, draw in through the lower belly. Two, rest the eyes on the nose. Three, four, five. Chitwari, inhale, ride the breath all the way up. Exhale, hold. C, yakam, inhale, arms out. Dwe, exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Trini, inhale, take a breath. Trini, exhale, fold. One. Two, three, four, five. 
to 20. Inhale, ride the breath all the way up. Exhale. D, yakum, inhale, catch the waist. Dway, exhale, fold, catch the big toes. Inhale, lift the heart, head up, look toward nose. Trini, exhale, fold in. One, moving shoulders away from the ears. Two, three, four, five. Chitwari, inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, hold. Pancha, inhale, catch the waist and stand. Samastitihi. Parjvo Tanasana. Yekam inhale, step back, hands in reverse prayer. Dwe exhale, fold, center the heart over the front leg. One, two, Three, four, five. Trini, inhale, stand, bring the feet parallel. Chitwari, exhale, turn the left foot out, folding directly forward. One, Breathing with sound. Two. Three. Four. Five. Pancha, inhale. Stand, take the feet parallel. Samastitihi. Utita hasta parangustasana. Yekam, inhale, lift the right leg, catch the big toe. Dwe, exhale, fold. One, two, Three, four, five. Trini, inhale, head and chest up. Chitwari, exhale, open the leg. One, two, three. Four, five. Pancha, inhale, center. Shot, exhale, fold. Sapta, inhale, chest up. And release, extend the leg. One, two, three, four, Five, Samastitihi. Left side, Ashtau, inhale, catch the big toe. Nawa, exhale, fold. One, two, three, Four, five. Desha, inhale, chest up. 
Ekara Sha, exhale, open the leg, gaze to the right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Dwanasha, inhale, center. Trayodasha, exhale, fold. Chaturasha, inhale, chest up. And release. Breathing one, point the toe. Two, three, four, five. Samastitihi. Ardha Bada Padma, Padmottanasana. Yekam inhale, right leg, half lotus. Dwe exhale, fold. One. Two. Three, four, five. Trini, inhale, head up. Exhale, hold. Chatwari, inhale, stand. Samastitihi, pancha, release the foot. Left shot, inhale, half lotus. Sapta, exhale, fold. Breathing one. Two. Three. Four, five. Ashtal, inhale, head up. Exhale, hold. Nawa, inhale, stand. Samastitihi. So we've just completed our review up to Ardha Bada Padma Padmottanasana. Next we have Utkatasana and Virabhadrasana A and B. Once we complete those positions, that will be the, the completion of the standing poses, the standing sequence. So before we go into Utkatasana, we'll do a full vinyasa but also we have a few transitions to discuss as we learn those positions as well. So let's go ahead and begin. We'll come to Samastitihi. So from Samastitihi, we'll do a full vinyasa and essentially it'll be like doing a Surya Namaskara A. So from here, inhale, stretch the arms overhead, palms together, gaze at thumbs. Exhale, fold, dropping the head, gazing at nose here. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Instead of holding for a complete five breaths, we're going to inhale, jump forward right away both feet landing between the hands, bending the knees. Again, big toes touching together, arms stretching, holding here for five breaths. This is Utkatasana. Palms together, reaching up toward the ceiling. This is one, two, three, 
four, five. The hands come to the floor, and from here, we're supposed to lift up right away and jump back. There's going to be two options depending on where we feel our strength is. The first option is going to be to jump in a bent knee position and then jump directly backward into Chaturanga Dandasana. The other option is to press. This is the, the transition that we're working toward over time. So the hands are going to plant down on the floor and we're going to press and lift our body weight and jump back from there. So we'll go over both options. So for the first one, when I finish my fifth breath in Utkatasana, I want to bring the hands down slightly forward from my feet, fingers spread wide, looking between my hands, my arms will be straight. I'm going to jump and ride my hips over the shoulders on the inhale and then exhale, jumping into chat or landing into Chaturanga. So from here, let's start just so we can get a little bit of movement going. So I finish my fifth breath, hands down, inhale up, exhale, jump back, Chaturanga. Then we go into upward facing, lifting up into downward facing. So often it feels a little bit scary to jump like so. You don't have to jump super high as you learn to trust yourself you can challenge yourself to really get the hips over the shoulders. So for the other option, it's gonna be more of a press. So the knees will bend, of course, and Utkatasana will act as if this is our fifth breath. The hands will come down. I'm gonna sink down a little bit lower. I'm going to bring my shoulders in the direction of my fingertips, bringing the knees into the chest. Inhale, chin forward holding my body weight, and then jumping back. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, we're gonna move into Virabhadrasana A. Inhale, the right foot forward, the back foot flat, the knee going over the ankle, arms up, gazing at my thumbs. The back leg is strong. My arms are stretching upward and I breathe here for five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, I straighten the front leg, reverse the feet bending the left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale, open the arms. Virabhadrasana B. I gaze at the front fingertips sides of the waist long, dropping the tailbone down toward the floor. One breath. Two, extend the energy out through the fingertips. Three, four, five. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reverse the feet, bending the right knee. One breath. Two. Three. Four. Five. The hands are gonna to come to the floor. This is gonna be the first option for this transition. It's gonna be like a little hop. I'm gonna press a lot of energy down through my right foot and then hop it back to meet with the other foot, landing into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. 
For the other option, the movement of the transition will be a bit bigger. So if you're a little fearless, you can do this next transition. So after I take my fifth breath, I'm gonna bring the hands down, move the right foot back slightly, kick that back foot up, landing into Chaturanga Nadasana, upward facing, and downward facing. So from downward facing, we'll jump forward or step forward to a seated position. So I'm gonna look forward from here. I'm just gonna do a little step, coming to seated. And we're going to continue with our finishing postures. For the finishing postures, we'll come into a cross-legged position. So it can either be crossing at the ankles or doing a half lotus position, or even possibly a full lotus position. What's most important is not necessarily how deep you go, but that you feel comfortable and you can breathe properly. I'll just put my legs into a half lotus position. So first, we'll do a modified Baddha Padmasana, binding the elbows behind the back. So we're basically clasping the elbows with the hands. Inhale, taking a full breath. Exhale, bowing forward, moving the forehead in the direction of the floor. If you need to put a pillow down or a block to rest the forehead, please do so. We'll breathe here for 10 rounds of breath. One, two, three, Breathing with sound, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, listening to the sound of the breath, nine, ten. Inhale, coming up. Exhale. We're going to come into this extended position. Fingertips forward. Straighten the arms. Lift the chest. Head back. And breathing. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Coming upright, bringing the thumb and index finger together, Pigyana Mudra. So thumb and index finger together, the fingers straight, resting the wrist on the knees, arms straight, keeping the torso upright, dropping the chin, and we'll breathe for ten rounds of breath. One, gazing at the nose. Two. Three, lengthening and deepening the breath.
four, Six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Inhale, lifting the chin. From here, we'll take rest. We'll lie down flat. The legs to relax, the palms facing upward, the back body sinking into the floor, the eyes close, and releasing all conscious control of the breath. Allow the legs and feet to naturally roll open and the palms open up toward the ceiling, the back body sinking into the floor, releasing all conscious control of the breath and closing the eyes. Okay, so wonderful job in the practice today. One reminder is, is to keep in mind that when we do the last three postures in the finishing, that we are essentially sealing in the practice. So all this energy and prana that we generated through the practice, we're just learning to seal it in the body and to get it circulating inside not only our physical body, but also our energetic body. So this is one of the most important parts of the practice, especially when we do the 10 breath count in our, in our Gyana Mudra here, tucking the chin. So this is an aspect where we're just aligning to the breath fully. And just keep in mind that the more conscious you are of the breath, the more the breath will actually naturally lengthen and deepen. So you don't necessarily have to force it to elongate. It's just that attention to the breath that allows it to flow more properly. So for most of us, when we breathe, we only breathe about halfway down into our lung capacity. And so the deeper the breathing goes, the more we are in this state of, of relaxation. And so it's a type of relaxation that doesn't entail numbing and kind of just like uh, the mind just going off into our imagination. It's more a type of relaxation where you're really focused on the present moment. And um, you can be very effective from this state. So whenever we breathe more deeply, all that tension just kind of evaporates out of the body. So remember that that's gonna be one of the most important aspects of the practice, and it's really going to be your guide from start to finish. We'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna to be covering the primary series postures. So these are gonna be the postures that are seated closer to the floor. And we're gonna have lots of stuff to cover. So really looking forward to it. I hope you are too, and we will see you tomorrow.